Hello guys, welcome to iTechno. Now today I've got something new for you. I'm going to show you how to install and run any Android application on your PC. Now a lot of you guys are probably thinking at this point this is going to be hard and require a lot of work and attention. You're completely mistaken. This is a very easy way to do it. So start off by just simply going to bluestacks.com. there you go and I'll put the link for this in the description just to make it a bit easier for you guys to get there just in case you know you have trouble typing it in or whatever um, if you've got win if you're on a Windows PC click the left download link which is download XP Vista Windows 7 it does also work on Windows 8 as you can see I'm using Windows 8 here and it works perfectly fine if you've got a Mac click download for Mac simple as so go ahead click download make the download install it I've already installed it and I've got it installed I've already set it up actually just for ease so go ahead you guys install it um, once you've done that get back to this video okay so now that you guys have installed bluestacks on your PC or Mac there's one other thing you've got to do just before you can run it so don't open it up just yet go on to Google Play Store on either your phone or your computer if you can install it to your phone from your computer and download the apps BlueStacks download the app rather BlueStacks Cloud Connect there you go so this is all you need to download and um, I'll put the link for this in the description just in case you guys aren't able to access this through Google Play for whatever reason so um, go ahead install it what it does is it allows you to first of all access the app store on BlueStacks on your PC or Mac so obviously that's pretty important and secondly as it says right here in the description you are able to push apps from your phone onto your PC easily and remotely what it means by this is if you have an app on your phone that you want to put on your PC rather than having to find that app and search for it and install it you can simply press a few buttons and over the internet it will send the app to your computer so obviously that's going to be pretty useful as well so go ahead install this on your phone you do need it I wouldn't say it's optional if you want to be able to install apps once you've gone through the first stage and installed Google Play separately you can install apps without this app so go ahead install it once you've done that come back to this video and we'll show you what you can do with this Android there you go now that you've installed the programs both of them the one on your phone and the BlueStacks program for PC you'll obviously have the BlueStacks app on your phone so open it up see if that needs any setting up go through that and then you'll have these two icons here on your desktop of your PC now I've already put them into a folder because I already have this installed and I'm, I just like to be pretty organized so these two are in folders you've got apps and you've got start blue stacks ignore the app shortcut it's not really of much use to you at this stage so double click start blue stacks and open that up you see it's loading up a lot of you guys may have to do a first time you know first time setup as it comes with a lot of androids here um, so go ahead set it up you may need to do that once you've set it up you can get back to this video and it'll be nice and simple from there on so there we go once it's set up you'll look like this now a lot of you will agree with me this looks terrible looks nothing like Android and it just where's the Play Store the most useful app here so to get, make it look a bit more like Android and show the shortcuts such as Play Store we're gonna have to install an application so to do that you just click search here this little blue search button in the top right well not top right but top right of the four icons at the top and then just search for an app called launcher pro and there you go it's searching and it's this top one here launcher pro with the picture of a house on a yellow background so click install you see this is proof we have three app stores installed on this mobile one market or one mobile market depending on your country Amazon apps and the Android market now known as Google Play so click launcher pro it's the second one here you don't want launcher pro plus because that costs so launcher pros here there you go to loading Google Play this is proof we've got Google Play installed but for some reason BlueStacks have not put a shortcut to it 
So go ahead, install Launcher Pro. There you go, the download and installation speed of this will depend on your internet speed and computer specs. So there you go, it's downloading and it's installing. Now to get into Launcher Pro, we need to click this home button at the bottom. There you go, it says application failure. Just ignore that, it says that whenever you download an app off the Google Play Store, but yet they all work. So to get onto the Launcher Pro, you see this little pile of papers at the bottom here, right in the center of the bottom bar that is your home button so click that and click use by default and click launcher pro and there you go we're now on launcher pro so most importantly we have shortcut to the play store but if you look in your applic um, your menu your application tray we have near enough every application installed here sorry about that that was a bit of a mess we have near enough every application installed here so you can see we've got play store amazon app store now we have a shortcut for the music so again good little thing so go into play store as you see there's your play store nice shortcut to play store so now just to prove to you you can install any apps you want i'm just going to download angry bird angry birds rather you know just to show you test it just prove to you it works so there you go it's downloading We'll leave that to download while I show you a few of the other features. So there you go, Angry Birds is installing in the background. Let's show you some of the other features now. So we can open up, well not open up, sorry, we can add to the home screen. We can add shortcuts, widgets, folders, wallpapers. So it is pretty much your Android. It's exactly as it should be. So widgets for example, let's add an analog clock. There you go, we got a nice little clock there. Obviously we can download more widgets of the Play Store if we want. Now you can mess around with the settings of the launcher. I'm going to leave it as it is for now because I don't want to mess around with it while I'm in the video. So that's all the settings there. It's just menu. That's your menu button. Preferences for the settings of this application. Settings for your actual Android settings. So there you go. You've got all that. And Angry Birds is up there and so installing the notification bar. So if we go into here, we've got all the apps. Your mobile browser does work, the internet browser. Although I don't really see the point of using it to be honest, because there's not really much you can do on it. And I can show you, you can go to a YouTube channel, for example, my YouTube channel. There you go, so we're on there. If you guys are testing this while, after this video has been released on YouTube, you will see on recent uploads, this video will be there. So, yep, yeah, simple as that. You've got internet browser on this. You've got basically everything you need, and you can install more apps off the Play Store. So, it's really simple, really. I mean, there's no issue in downloading this. It's not like having to go through Dual Boot. Obviously, the same level of performance isn't there as Dual Boot, but it's still, for a lot of you guys who aren't so advanced with technology, it's easier to do. So, there you go. Now that it's installed, you can simply open it up. and there you go it's opening up Angry Birds if it says something like application failure or something like it may pop up with a little toast notification it's called little bar at the bottom that's ignore that it does that whenever you download an app off Google Play or something so just ignore that and as you can see this app should and will work perfectly fine there you go no issues whatsoever works as it should so there you go that's that that's how to get android on your pc now a few of the apps you made out and you download may auto rotate the screen when you open them so to correct this right click the little icon in your ta um, tray or taskbar and under rotate portrait apps click disabled because you don't want it constantly rotating because it doesn't actually rotate the window it just rotates it in the screen so you're going to have to turn your head to see it so that's not so great so that's it really that's android on your pc have fun guys install any apps you want if you have any questions let me know if you like the video please like the video subscribe for more videos from iHacks thank you very much